Hey there students! I've done a few videos on the Reformation and certain aspects of it, theologians like Luther and Calvin, and a lot of times the topic of free will comes up. And I'm still getting some questions about free will and some of the nuances there, so I am going to talk now exclusively about free will and the Reformation and kind of look at all of the different parties involved there. On one side we have free will and on the other side we have God's grace and those are the two ingredients for salvation all right and the conversion of the heart and that sort of thing but it really depends on who you are as far as the mixture between this okay how much of salvation is free will how much of it is God's grace and do you need both how do they both interact together okay so if we go back to the Renaissance we may look at some of the Renaissance humanists who believed in an absolute freedom of the will now this according to the Catholic Church would be heresy this idea that someone could change themselves by free will independently of God's grace so the Catholic Church isn't going to go that far all the way to the free will side but the Catholic Church places a great importance on free will but they believe that it needs God's grace to act with it okay so you have this conversion experience with the free will with the help of God's grace now we still kind of have a problem here theologically because there are a lot of times that we may will something to happen and it doesn't happen. We want to do this and we do that. And that's what Martin Luther struggled with because Martin Luther, from his perspective, he believed, but then at the same time, he did not always act in accordance with his will. So he had this idea that free will is really not as important as the Catholic Church says it is and in fact that man is either a slave of God or the slave of the devil that that free will is just not that big of a factor so he wrote against Erasmus Erasmus a Catholic humanist who wrote on the freedom of the will and then Luther wrote on the bondage of the will where Luther said really the free will is pretty much helpless until it is acted upon by God's grace now he doesn't go as far as Calvin. Now, John Calvin totally negates the idea of free will because he believes that free will negates the sovereignty of God, which is the foundation of his systematic theology. Luther believes that there is a small place for free will, okay, where God's grace is acting upon you and you have a choice whether or not to exercise a saving faith, all right? So, whereas Catholics would say, look, you have free will with the support of God's grace, and if your faith is real, then you will have good works to back it up. Uh, Luther didn't uh, necessarily see that as being the case. So, that's really kind of the continuum here where you have the Renaissance humanists totally on the side of free will, the Catholic Church uh, being very close uh, to that, uh, Luther emphasizing the importance of grace, and then Calvin going all the way and negating free will altogether. I hope that cleared things up. If it did, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, Visit my website, TomRitchie.net, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, like, dislike, comment. Let me hear from you. I'll be back soon. Till next time.